Hey guys, it's your favorite real estate agent, Joanna Arnold, right here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how much does it cost to actually sell your home as a homeowner. So selling your home can definitely be an overwhelming process if you're not familiar with it. Getting it ready, actually moving, showings, and hiring the right agent, and lots more that actually go with that. But one thing that a lot of people forget about is the cost associated with actually selling your home. So let me give you guys a breakdown so you can be prepared when you get ready to enter the market. Your very first expense is gonna be realtor commission. So whenever you sell a house with a real estate agent, that agent does charge a commission. This is the only way that a lot of agents make any money. So the seller pays a percentage of the home sales price to the listing agent, but also to the selling agent from the money netted at the close of the transaction. This isn't paid until the house is actually sold. Your next expense is gonna be actually preparing your home to sell. So before listing your home, you wanna ensure that it is market ready to attract interested buyers. There are four main costs to consider as you prep your home to put it on the market. Number one is gonna be landscaping, your home repairs and maintenance, and then you have your home improvement. One way that we alleviate those things is by getting a pre-inspection assessment. So with the pre-inspection, we're gonna have a home inspector come out to inspect your property before we actually list it. Taking this extra step helps to eliminate surprises. The last thing that you want is for a buyer to have your home inspected and provide you with a list of items that you didn't even know existed. Inspections are the number one cause of deals falling through in my opinion. So why not spend a small fee up front to eliminate the buyer's doubt? Our next expense is gonna be seller concessions. So a concession means that you have agreed to pay certain costs for the buyer, usually as a means of sweetening the deal so that the buyer is more likely to close. For example, a buyer might ask for help with their closing costs, a buyer might ask for a concession if they don't have enough cash to cover their closing costs, or if the home is older and they wanna preserve cash to make updates. The market you're usually selling in is the determining factor of what's a fair amount for you to pay in concessions. Last but not least, there will be additional closing costs such as taxes, attorney fees and transfer fees. So I hope that this video helped you to understand what a seller actually has to pay and the expenses that come with actually selling your home. If you have any questions or concerns or you want to schedule your own free consultation for your home, feel free to shoot me a DM or you can call or text me at 225-522-1952. Don't forget to like and share. Thanks for watching.